Hello everyone, I am Professor Shaista Khan from Vidyavardhini College of Engineering. We will be explaining you our RTL design process by taking the example of so soda dispenser machine and la uh, distance measurement using laser. Now in this, first uh, in level of digital design, in level of digital design where RTL is residing first of all we have transistor level design transistor level in which we are forming a circuit using a transistors next is logic level we are forming a circuit using the logic gates like we are forming using a combination like forming combination and sequential sequential circuit next is rtl level design in rtl what we are doing we are suppose we have a microprocessor in microprocessor uh, we are designing so in that we have registers we have adder so uh, after uh, taking the data the, the ad adder will perform the addition and after uh, performing the addition the data will be stored in a register so it is nothing that's why it is called as register transfer uh, so that rtl design we need to study in depth now for that uh, first of all before starting with uh, what is rtl design process first of all we will see what is high level state machine if you see my previous video in that video i have explained you how how the fsm can be used for designing a fsm is nothing but uh, it is used uh, we can draw a state it is used to capture the behavior of a system so here also uh, we are instead of using fsm we are using high level state machine high level state machine is also used to capture the behavior the main difference over here is what are the main difference first of all it is used for more most uh, more complex behaviors secondly is it is nothing but you can see it is the main difference is when we have a fsm the we can have a input as single bit input but here we can have multi in, multi data multi bit input also like we can have 8 bit 16 bit input also output also next we can have a local storage so that local storage memory that was not possible in fsm now we can do the arithmetic operation like adding and comparison uh, in high level state machine which was not possible in FSM. We can do only boolean operations over there. Next, what is the RTL design process? In RTL design process we need to concentrate, we need to design these two things. One is data path component and another one is controller. Now what is data path component? In data path component we will have register, adder, comparator. Now these are nothing but component which are going to perform some operations and those operations will be performed depending upon the controlling signal which is, gen which is generated by which is generated by controller. Now uh, controller will have certain inputs and it will generate certain outputs. Now controller now how to design a controller if you see the previous video in that i have mentioned like we can form a controller using the state state registers and the combinational circuit that is same we are going to do in high level in the rtl design process also now what is the uh, procedure for rtl design that is first step is capture a behavior now capture a high level state machine it is nothing but used to capture the behavior of a circuit right capture the behavior using the main difference there we are using with fsm here we are using high level state machine now next is nothing but here uh, convert the behavior to a circuit now in order to convert the behavior to a circuit what we need we need a data path component then uh, create a data path component then connect the data path to a controller then derive the controller fsm now we will be converting the high level state machine into the FSM in a last step. So what is the meaning of each and everything that we can understand by taking the example. So the first example which I am taking is nothing but soda, soda dispenser machine. Now in soda dispenser machine what we have, we have C as an input. What is C? When the coin is there, when the coin is detected, this is nothing but a C bit input. So this C bit input, C will be is a 1 bit input. When the, co when the coin is present, this C will become 1. That means the machine should start. Now, when coin is detected, next, next the important point is which coin is there. Because uh, for dispensing, right, anyone can uh, enter, insert 1 rupee coin also, 5 rupee coin also, 10 rupees coin also. So it depends. So for that we need, first of all, we should have some reference. So here this S is nothing but a, 
S is nothing but a reference, which is nothing but storing. Like suppose you have a cost of a soda is nothing but 10 rupees. So that 10 rupees should be stored in S. Next is what is A? A is nothing but a value of a coin which is inserted. Now after inserting this coin, what next we need? See, suppose if a person is entering a coin of a 5 rupees but we have a coin uh, we uh, we have a value price is nothing but 10 rupees so we need comparison so that means we need a comparison after comparing it now another point is when a is coming you need some ref local variable in which you are storing this value so after storing this value when the next time coin is coming so that coin value should add so for that we need a register we need a comparator and once the value, both the values are equal, then only your soda will be dispensed. And when the soda is to, is to be dispensed, the D signal will become 1. So I think so, this is nothing but a basic idea of a soda dispenser machine. Now, this is nothing but a high level state machine. This is first, this is the initial state in which D is equal to 0. What is D? D is nothing but when the soda will be dispensed. At that time, D is equal to one and uh, here at the initial state c will be d will be equal to zero now and tot tot as i said there will be a reference local variable which is nothing but equal to tot which is need to be initialized at the starting zero now next after initial state it will come into the wait state when it is coming into the wait state, it will wait for the coin to come. So when the coin is coming, your C value will become equal to 1. So C value will become equal to 1. When the C value is 1, that means coin is detected, it will go into the add state. In add state, what is happening? TOT equal to TOT plus A. What is A? A is nothing but a coin value which is inserted. It is adding with the TOT variable which we have initialized to 0. Now, and hence the value of TOT will be updated. Now next after doing the addition it will come again into the wait state and wait for the coin to come. Now if that coin is coming again it will go into the add state and it will come back. If the coin is not coming here whether the C is, C is 1 it is coming over. C is 0 is indicated by this C dash. Now if coin is not there then there are two possibilities. This TOT is less than S. Is uh, What is S? S is a reference value. Suppose 10 rupees, we are setting the price of a soda. Then S should be 10 rupees. So this is S and this will be compared with TOT. Now if TOT is less than S, that means what this indicates? That means the value of a TOT is containing, uh, uh, after addition it is containing the value. What is the total value of a coin till now it is inter inserted? So, if TOT value is less than S, that means your price means you have no, not received, the machine has not received the coin value which is equal to the price of a soda. So, that means it will wait in the wait state only for the coin to come. Another possibility is if C is 0, there is no coin but TOT less than equal less than s here i forgot to mark dash this dash is nothing but if this signal is zero if either you can take this signal as zero or this signal as one so if this is one or tot is less than s right here if it is zero that means if it is coming zero that means tot is greater than s so at that time for that two condition need to be satisfied tot should be greater than s and C value should be 0. So both are added, right? So both the conditions should be satisfied. I hope you are, you are understanding TOT less than S dash. That means if it is 0. If it is 0, when it will be 0? When this condition is not satisfied. And if this condition is not satisfied, means what? TOT will be greater than S. So it will come into the dispense state. And uh, after coming into the dispense state, it will, what is the function of this state? It will make the D equal to 1 and after here it will enter into the initial state. So this is nothing but a high level state machine. So what I said first will we'll enter first initial state in which initialization will be done. D0, TOT reference variable 0, it will enter into the wait state and wait for the coin to come. When the coin will come, it will go into the add state. It will add the value of a coin 
and it will up uh, that is nothing but with tot which is a reference zero variable which was zero and after uh, adding then it will come back again and wait for the coin to come but it will wait but for that it will again in wait state it will compare also after comparison if it is uh, if coin is coming no doubt it will come into the add state but if coin is not coming then it will check whether the tot is less than s or this is tot less than s dash if it is less than s yes so that means the coin value the coin inserted is insufficient for the price right so that means we have to wait for the coin to come but if this condition is not satisfied tot less than s dash if it dash means it is zero that means aot is greater than s so what will happen it will come into the dispense state and be equal to one so soda will be dispensed and then again it will enter the initial state where it will make d equal to zero and the tot variable equal to zero now next this is nothing but a data path component you can see in a data path component what we have we have one tot register that is nothing but a variable i said see that is nothing but a local variable that is nothing but a variable which is used to store the uh, value which is stored uh, after addition so that here we are using one register which is having ld and clear so tot clear you can see now the signals are names will change tot clear is nothing but see at the start over here we have seen tot equal to 0 so that is nothing but when tot equal to 0 that means tot clear bit of if this is becoming z if this is tot clear equal to 1 then what will happen this register will be cleared tot ld is nothing but if it is becoming equal to 1 then what will happen this register will be loaded now you can see the connection this is 8 bit adder what are the input to the adder a signal a is nothing but what a uh, coin value which is inserted and this is tot another input is tot which is at the starting it will be zero after this addition this value will be given to tot but it will enter into tot when the ld when the load signal of this tot is uh, uh, in uh, means active so after this next uh, component you can see is nothing but a comparator you can see what we are comparing the after tot value which after addition we are getting that is given simultaneously to this comparator and what is another input to this comparator s s is nothing but a set value of a soda suppose it is 10 rupees so that here it will be compared now if here you can see the comparator output is nothing but tot lts and that will decide right whether the soda will be dispensed or not depending upon this signal we need to generate this tot ld signal because if suppose this signal is one that means your value is means the value of this addition is less than s then what will happen we need to do the another addition and we'll wait for the coin to come so what will happen again this tot ld signal should be activated so this is in short what is a data path component now next what we need to do as we have seen in the rtl design process we have data we have data path component and controller now data path component all the control signals will be generated by this controller so that is nothing but tot ld tot clear and tot lds is nothing but an input signal for a controller with, and which is the output of a data path component and a and s is the input to the data path component c is the input to the controller that means when the coin is detected then only the controller will generate tot ld tot clear these signals will be generated depending upon the c signal and depending upon the tot lts output of the data path component controller will generate the d signal now next what we have done here we have converted the high level state machine into the finite state machine now here you can see again we are coming see d equal to 0 tot clear equal to 1 this is nothing but what as i said over here this tot clear is nothing but what it is used to see at the start if you see here we have here we have taken tot equal to 0 so this tot equal to 0 that means for this tot we are using this register and this register is need 